So what are the thoughts uh, around the table of the concept of a mixture of pre and probiotics or just can we do this with just prebiotics? If we pick the right fermentable fibers, can we then get the bacteria we want on the downside? Because these are all a probiotic by definition, right? They're present in the human GI tract. So they're there by feeding the right you know, food. Can we increase their use, increase their production of butyrate, acetate, propionate, all the other benefits we see? I think prebiotics has suffered a little bit as well from the same problems as probiotics in that they're v it's viewed as a generic term prebiotic. Um, where I see it going is that we'll have specific fibres linked to specific strains for specific benefits. I, it's all about specificity in yeah. my mind. Mm -hmm. So um, you, you favour the school of thought that would say give one strain, one prebiotic to maximise the outcome. Yeah. I think so. And what are your thoughts? Mo mo single or multi-strain? So if you're targeting with one specific strain and you're upregulating the immune system in some aspect, that leaves me to question some of the things I w would somebody, if they had certain things that they wanted to improve their health for, would they need to add an additional strain that would target some other goal? Yes, I think it's, it'll, it, it'll all come down to um, knowing exactly what you're recommending, mm -hmm. using evidence-based approaches. Um, so you, you, you're, you're not going to be just recommending a, a probiotic or a prebiotic. You're going to be recommending this probiotic with this prebiotic to do this. That's hopefully where, the, where we'll emerge. Yeah, I think we're captive of the language to some degree. I mean, the term probiotic probably should be replaced. Uh, Beneficial microbes is a, is a reasonable term. Uh, prebiotic probably should be replaced as well. It's, it's really just something in the diet that's, that, right. that's, that's beneficial in terms of the microbiota, but it doesn't necessarily have to be fibers. Um, I, although conventionally it's regarded as something on the al polysaccharide line of, of a fiber nature. But the next generation of so-called prebiotics may not be that. And I think most of us, if you eat a healthy diet, you are actually consuming prebiotics. Sure, mm -hmm. sure.